I now have to go and find another developer who might be able to answer these questions. I might have to go and harass a sysadmin. I might just have to be a cowboy and, you know, start deleting stuff to see what happens. Hey everyone, Luke Cook here. I'm an SSW solution architect, and today I'm here to talk to you about your Azure naming conventions. Now, naming conventions are really important because you have got developers who need to find them, you've got sysadmins who need to track them, and you have to pay for them. So getting a handle on your resources by using an informative and consistent naming convention across your business is really important. Now, let me show you some of the pain that you will experience if you don't have a proper naming convention for your Azure resources. So if we open up the Azure portal here, I can say that SSW has a product called SSW Rewards. So if I, as a developer or a sysadmin, want to go and find all of the resources around SSW Rewards, I would search for rewards. Now, when we first come up, we, we see some resources here. So we'll go and have a look at one of those, and we'll go and have a look at its resource group to see what else might be involved on this product. As we get into the product, or into the resource group here, we start to see some problems, right? Now, we've got some resources here that have rewards in its name. We've got some resources here that are just mysteriously named. And then we've got some resources here which don't even have rewards in them at all and, at a glance, look like they belong to a completely different product. So, if that's my experience as a developer, I now have to go and find another developer who might be able to answer these questions. I might have to go and harass a sysadmin. I might just have to be a cowboy and, you know, start deleting stuff to see what happens. Now, that's not a great solution to this problem. What is, is coming up with a consistent name that you will use across your products for your business. Now, we have a rule on this which gives some good tips on how you can do this. The, the two most important components for naming a resource will be to have the product in its name and to also have the environment in its name. And that lets you and your sysadmins very efficiently find those resources for a product and target a specific environment if that's what they're looking for. So to show you how that would look in an ideal world, we have another SSW product, our identity server, and you can see in our staging environment, every single resource here is named consistently. They're all easily found with a simple Azure search and there is no doubt as to what these resources are or where they belong. Now, for more information on how you can better name your Azure resources, I suggest you go over to our rules page and have a read of our Do You Name Your Azure Resources Correctly? If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, please drop a comment down below. This has been Luke Cook from SSW, signing off.